everybody. Welcome to Shift Happens. All right, so here we are. It's late. It's the end of the day. It's like, what, about 11, it's about 11 o'clock, right? Midnight? Almost 11, 12 o'clock? We're here late. Tori's up late because, well, well, past her bedtime, but she's straight. Oh, she was like, you were like on her Facebook, wasn't she? For like honor roll student <laughs> mm -hmm. of like the year or Absolutely something the like year. That. Yeah, so I'm like, actually, your mom should be in the you need a bigger allowance. Yep. So, say mom, I want to raise. It's on camera. Thousands of people watch it. Say mom, I want to raise. Mom, I want to raise. You going to give her a raise or not? <laughs> sure. All right. See, now, it's on video. If you don't get a raise, you let me know because it, it's on camera. So, if she backs out on you, we, we have documentation. Okay? Deal? Okay. okay. How much a raise she getting? Okay. <laughs> How much do you get right now? Five. A week? You going to give her 10 bucks a week? Um... Ten bucks. Okay. Six fifty. <laughs> Eight fifty. Seven. And I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, man, we just got you a raise. We got a nice story. I'll take it. All right. So here's the deal. Um, it's really not eleven o'clock at night, but it is like seven. Please. So. And we just got done. Tori was our last our last patient tonight. It was really pretty cool because she was driving by with Grandma, and she's like was telling me why she wanted to come by here. Now, Tori, you've been getting adjusted for how long now? How many? How many? Two years, probably? Yeah, about a year and a half. Year and a half. Okay, year and a half. So, um, but not for, you don't get, like, back pain and leg pain and whatever pain we may have. So, why did you want to, what, what, tell the story. You were driving down the road, and what did you tell Grandma? Um, I didn't feel well. And so, now get that. She didn't feel well. So, what, you had a stomach ache? Is that right? And what did you tell Grandma you wanted to do? I wanted to go to the cow factor. And do what? And get? Adjusted. How cool is that? So why'd you want to get adjusted? Because uh, I didn't feel good. And it'll make you, will it make you feel better? Yeah. Enough said? How simple is that? How old are you? Seven. Seven years old, but the brain of like a 90-year-old with maturity and understanding of how this chiropractic stuff works. I'm pretty impressed. Right? So if it doesn't, it's not better tomorrow, are you going to come by? Yes. Okay. So how often do you come in and get checked? Do you suppose? Two times. Uh, a week? Mm-hmm. How's that? That cool or what? If you get a runny nose, what happens? What do you do? I come. <laughs> How cool is that? How simple is that? So do you want to say any of the people on the camera? Did you tell them to come get checked to get adjusted? Yes. Like, say, like, right now. Come and get adjusted. Go, like, right now. Right. Come and get adjusted right now. There you go. Enough said. For everybody, <laughs> give away, say, ciao. All right, everybody. Here, this is this is a follow up to uh, you just saw Miss Tori just rock the shift. But I got to tell you where this conversation actually started. Now she came in tonight and um, uh, got adjusted. And then after they told Matt, I said we got to do a special shift. So we've got a series of docs that are in there. But this is a, he has no clue what's coming. But you're gonna like this, and it actually is, is an evolution. And I'm I, this is gonna anger some of our chiropractic profession out there, and maybe some of the health profession. But it's it's, it's the truth. So this past weekend, I, I had the pleasure to go to a conference in uh, Orlando, and I was sat in a room, and it was a Discover Your Greatness. So it wasn't a chiropractic seminar. And I, and I sat in the room with uh, two billionaires and, uh, and just multimillionaires. I mean, dudes that do well and think differently. and They're successful for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, and then none of them were chiropractors. It's just myself and Jeff May. Um, um, so it's out to you, Jeff May. And so... But I was sharing with them what we do as chiropractors, and, and Jeff was too, and one of the guys goes, well, how come the rest of the world doesn't know about that, about this message you have to deliver because they need to? I was like, that's a really, really good question. And, um, and, 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 and I said, you know, because what's interesting is healthcare today, and I know some people, yeah, they save lives, but healthcare today harms, I do Cut to the chase. Yeah. 796,000 people die a year every single day from medical errors. Let me emphasize that. Almost, that's how many, that's Omaha, Nebraska, gone every single year from medical errors. Wrong drug, wrong surgery, oop, missed that. Iatrogenic errors means, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I screwed up. Sorry if I can say that, but I'm just, yeah. And so... And I, and I go back, and we have more technology now than we've ever had before mm -hmm. 
to figure out what's going on. More backup systems, more than ever before. More delivery. Our delivery is supposed to be better. Has the delivery of chiropractic changed? You're liking this, aren't you? Yep. The delivery of chiropractic hasn't changed. No. Nope. Hasn't changed at all. It's still with these things right here. Go back 30, 40, 50 years ago. Was medical error the biggest cause of death? No. Nope. Was America the proud, the beautiful to come to to get your health care? Not now, people. Not now. It's, it's an embarrassment. The medical model we have today has successfully failed in destroying health care as we speak it. It's sick care. The insurance model is sick care. You only use your insurance if you're sick. You, get, you don't feel good, you go in, they look down, take this pill, doesn't help, take a bigger pill. It's a fear-based mentality that is failing. And I shared it with these guys and they're like, dude, that's spot on. And, and I said, and here's what's scary about it. We know, you know, as, as the public, that this mentality of this model is failing. You know it's not right. You know I shouldn't take the drug. You know that the cost of admission of taking that pill, that that price that you're doing, the outcome is not beneficial. Just go on for the ride here. You doing so so far? I'm good. You need to know this is I like the ride. And you know that if I take that pill and I have this situation, I know it's really not going to be what I need, but I'm going to do it anyhow. And you know that. And, and it happened tonight. One of our patients when we were leaving was telling me, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I just wanted to make sure. And I went and paid for it and had an MRI. And you're right, there's nothing going on. And this is what they told me. There's nothing going on. Take these two drugs. Now, here's what I say. There's nothing going on. Take these two drugs. And she goes, and I knew that, but I wanted to make sure. So I asked her, I said, so why did you step into that fear-based mentality? She goes, because they drive us there. So here's the deal. We're kicking their butt out of the car right now. Um, it's, it's, I know you're going to see this video on February 12th. This is February 10th. They're kicked out of the car. The chauffeur's done. We got a new chauffeur. And it's Cairo World right now. And so I told these guys, I said, here's how chiropractic works. You, you have something called concussion of forces. These concussion of forces cause the shift in our spinal column, which creates the dysfunction in the spine, the communication between the brain and the body. What we do as chiropractors is we find that misalignment in the spine, release that nerve pressure, and you know, the chiropractic prayers out there, uh, whatever. We release that nerve pressure, or the science guys out there who want to argue with me, whatever. They're still the green smoothie ones. We release that pressure, which tells the brain to communicate with the rest of the body, so the body can work better. That's what we do. This guy looks at me, you know what he says? I can tell you why the models doesn't work. He goes, why is that? He goes, too simple. He goes, but that's the beauty of it. <laughs> because the truth. It is the truth. So I'm gonna let Matt do his, Matt's closing because he's really good at that. Well, I need to pause when we do it. So I don't mean to like offend you, your thinking, but I want you, it's, it's time to change because that has to change now because Kyle World's coming. Okay, pause. So that roller coaster ride you just experienced was the Dr. Lyle Coach at Cairo Man. He's kicking butt. He's on fire because you know what? It's after being here for 15 oh. hours, and I'm still like, ah! He's got more energy now than most chiropractors have all week. Absolutely insane what this guy does every single day to serve you guys because he cares so much about you and your family. It's got to change, man. It absolutely it's got to change. But the truth is out there. The truth is simple. The body functions well when it's well adjusted. Why put drugs? Why put... MRIs, why do all these different things to your body you don't need? So, listen to him, listen to Dr. Coach. His message is pure truth for you. Oh. <laughs> see you, folks. We'll see, see you next week. Bye. It's Michelle. Praise guys.